Hello and welcome to yet another of my on the bench videos. Uh, what we have here is a CEC belt driven transport. Um, as you see, you can even see the CD. This is a um, the idea there is to have a, a very high uh, mass uh, pack that is holding this CD and very weak motor and combined with belt drive that gives it a, a lot of inertia and then and stability of revolutions. So um, the reason I'm playing classical CD today is that it is um, the hardest one of all uh, that I have to play. Um, some CD players don't read that one. There will be no 90 minute CDRs today because simply this unit does not play CDRs. It is designed to do so the way that the laser is taken off the disc and is then is combined uh, together on the chip. And uh, it actually it, it reads CDRs. It just doesn't output any uh, data. Any any. SPD or AES-EBU signal because this also has an XLR output on AES-EBU. Today we have a uh, even harder disk than normal. I've acquired this uh, test disk which um, unlike the other one that has the breaks of 0.9 of a millimeter which is a um, standard for CDs. This one goes up to 3 millimeters in both interruption of data layer and, and black dots. Uh, there it is. It does not read discs as instantaneously because obviously it has to um, gather the pace. See 78 uh, minutes there. I'll turn down the volume a bit because these are 0 dB signals. So um, to find out what we're going to do Let's go to track number nine. For this is the specification for the player, 0.9 of a millimeter, and as you see, has no problem with that at all. We can go double that to, let's say, track um, 20. Let me see what I can find. She plays that as well. There is a bit of artifact, so it's having difficulties at double the standard, but you know, like 15, which is 50% more, it's it's uh, much better. Uh, what else? We can go now to 39, which is standard for black dot. And uh, we'll see when it gets there, because it's a long way away. And here it is, so plays nice and cool and interpolates very well. Let's do 39, let's go to 50 and see how well we'll copy that. So that's double the... Well, it, it, it does a bit of a hiccup there. But given that, that it's um, twice as much as it was designed for, it's still alright. So it shows you that it that it will play almost anything. Well, uh, thank you very much. I won't do any more of that. Um, the overall transport is in very, very good condition. Um, well, I can't say as new because nothing is new of, of, the, of that age, but, um, but it is extremely well presenting. There's a box with it. There's a remote here. Uh, in case you're wondering what was the problem, the, the firstly the belt simply disintegrated. When I got it, there was no belt in it at all. And then, uh, and then I replaced the laser. This is the old laser unit. Uh, um, the new one is even better than that. It's all metal case. Um, uh, what more can I say? Big thank you to Mr. Ken Shiwata who sent me a service manual and hence uh, helped me with uh, fixing the player. Without it, you know, alignment uh, wouldn't be possible. Well, thank you very much again and um, happy bidding. Bye bye. And we'll listen to some of that to take us out.
so it does take some time to travel. And that all goes through Audio GD, Chinese DAG, very good, very good unit it is too. And thank you very much, goodbye.